Good morning, Revolution. This is Rick again. Um, I, I know there's a lot of new window tinners in the group, and, and I kind of wanted to show you something. Some of you older guys will get something from this. Some of you won't. Um, when you've got two doors, uh, a lot of questions out there is, do you shrink it or do you not shrink it? Um, you know for sure you're going to have to shrink some of these doors regardless. I picked this pickup truck because I wanted to show you something. Um, come here for one second. First off, when I cut these, uh, if you'll see, I'll make this line right here, you know, and, and then, then I've got about that much clearance. Uh, the reason I do that, the reason it might be a good idea for you to do that is, is when you are shrinking on these doors, you know, let's say you cut it right there to the line, you know, let's say your cut mark is literally right there. Well, when you're over here heating, you know, shrinking something out, you don't want to burn or curl this edge. So I like to have a lot more extra film. Now, if you're looking, this has not been shrunk. This just lays perfectly flat. So you're probably saying, well, what the hell's the point in shrinking it? Well, the point in shrinking it is, is once you put some tension down here at the bottom, it's going to prevent this from ever having fingers. Okay, we get that, Rick, but, but I put it on, I don't get fingers. That's fine if that's how you want to do it, no problem. One of the things that helps, like I said, is it prevents fingers here. <clears throat> Cutting it longer means you can trim off the excess if you burn the edge, plus you're deeper below the seal. Something else a lot of window tenders don't realize, even older window tenders have been doing this for a long time, if you shrink this, it not only prevents fingers here, it also prevents fingers here. And that might not make much sense to you, but the tension that pulls this way also adds enough tension here and enough tension there to keep that from, from fingering there also. So uh, this is flat. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I shrink these. And this is really just a tip. Uh, if you're new to window tinting, um, it's probably a good idea to do everything the same way every single time. Every single vehicle I do, whether it's a flat glass like this, whether it's um, something real compound curved, I still shrink them. And uh, as a new window tuner, you want to get into the habit of having the same system over and over and over. Now, by having the same system over and over, does that mean sometimes that you're gonna you know, take an extra step that you didn't need to on a particular vehicle? Absolutely. But, in my opinion, getting a system down is more important than an individual particular vehicle. And so, this is how I want it to look. And so, as you've seen, I pushed down here, I pushed down there, and I took out the stress here and pushed it to the bottom so that relieves stress up here. And this all takes a real short amount of time and I'm not like trying to do a video. And you see how this is going left to right, you know, perfect, you know, uh, identical to this line. That's what you want to see. You, you don't necessarily want to see a big smiley face. Uh, if you get a big smiley face, it ain't that big of a deal, but it is over shrunk. Which can cause, you know, other problems on install. Alrighty. So that has been shrunk. Some might even say over shrunk. It's not over shrunk, it's just shrunk to bring out the tension over here on the sides. That's it, super simple. You don't have to do this. If you're a new window tenter, I would highly recommend that you do this and continue to do this. All right, have a good one.